S and B air system. Does it work? Does it save you fuel economy? Does it give you more power, more throttle? $350 product. I'm gonna go over my experience with this. So hang in there. Hi folks, Robbie M&R Farm here. I wanted to give you an update, or not an update, but a review on uh, my S&B filter system that I installed. I was, uh, I was really struggling to find a way to save some fuel mileage. And right now I got a 2015 six, seven liter Ford power stroke. And it was getting, since I bought it, so back in 2016, I think it's, it, it's, you know, the best you can get out of that is 14 miles a gallon on the highway basically a flat highway from Oregon to Northwest Washington. And, um, you know, I talk to guys all the time that got Duramaxes and the same motor that I've got and, and you know, Cummins and they're like, oh yeah, I get 25, 26 miles a gallon. I'm like, shoot, man, I've had, I've had like six different diesel trucks. I've had Dodge, I've had Chevy, I've had Ford, I've had them all. And I've never got better than 15 miles a gallon. In fact, my 6.0 liter Ford that I have gets 17 miles to the gallon. It's got 300,000 miles on it now, but it's been rebuilt twice. It's been chipped. I've done everything I could possibly do to that thing. That thing was like my Frankenstein monster. And I still have it. But getting back to the Ford and the s and B. I uh, I ran it up to uh, up to the beach up in southwest Washington, about 250 mile trip up there. 18 miles a gallon. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I I in fact I called my wife. I said I can't believe it. This is you know there's something wrong with this. And my wife knows because she drove that truck for the first three or four years that uh, that we've had it. She drove it all the time, and it only has a 25 gallon tank on it, so. You don't pass a lot of fuel stations with that truck. I drove it back from the beach, same thing, 18 miles a gallon, 18.1. I'm so I'm kind of becoming a believer. I'm starting to think, man, eh, maybe this there is something to this. And I took it on another trip up north and 18 miles a gallon. And so now I've got and, and back. And so now I got a thousand miles on this filter system and right around 18. Then the recent trip I just took was uh, to Gig Harbor. And same thing, you know, it was probably 200 some odd miles up and back. So um, that was at 17 and a half, 17.6, I think it was. So it kind of settled in at 17 and a half. And, you know, that could be, you know, it could be getting a little dirty and, and, um, but you know that 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 initial 18 i was just like man alive you know that's four miles to the gallon that's huge especially with the fuel prices we got now but i the last couple of days i was hauling gravel so i hauled uh i was hauling about six and a half ton per trip and i hauled i don't know like six trips and that's uh an hour round trip so i go down to the pit pick up the gravel and then up a mountain to get to my house and I was getting 14 and a half. I, I mean, and it, you know, I mean, I, I'm not hammering it coming up that hill. I mean, I got a load on and I was getting 14 and a half on that. So it settled in at 14 and a half, you know, hauling that gravel. And I just wanted to share that with you because, you know, when I got online, I was getting on the forums and a lot of guys were just saying, there's no way that, you know, this system will work and they must be engineers or something but they didn't have the system they were just saying technically why it would not work but i did see reviews of guys that had it and they were you know they weren't adamant about the gain but because they knew they were going to get hammered by these you know these so-called engineers and they, they, they were getting like one one and a half two miles to the gallon better and of course nobody believed them online you know how that works so I thought, what the heck, man, I, you know, I'm going to do it. And so I did. And uh, I, I think it's really, really paid off. Uh, I had a buddy come over with his Chevy. I was telling him about it and he brought his Chevy over and it's a 2006 Duramax. 
and he's getting 13, 13.4, something like that, and he wants to get better fuel mileage. But I looked at his system, and the Chevys, they have a little bit better system than the Fords as far as letting air get through there, so I don't know if it'd work on his truck. Uh, let me know, you know, if it does. And then I've got, uh, I've got a naturally aspirated 7.3 V8 gas motor that gets horrible, horrible fuel mileage. Nice truck, but man alive that big big block motor it's just like the old big blocks it's like the old 460 i mean they're just gas guzzlers so i mean if there's something out there that will help that i would i would really like to hear about it so that's my story with the uh with the s and b i with if you have a 2015 and from what i understand you know all the way up they have the same type of filter system it's just that square well, rectangular box uh, filter system that cramps the whole box. Um, I think it works on all of them, but a 2015, it, it definitely for me, with a few thousand miles in that that truck so far, it's it's really really worked. So, you know, and I you know I don't I don't know anything about the other filter. I just picked S and B for some reason, and it was really easy to install, and they they seem to have a really good support network. So I'll, I'll look into going further with that down the road, but right now, just 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 changing out the air take, going from factory to aftermarket, it, it's huge. And you saw the picture of what it looks like uh, to install. And if you look at the picture of that and how that filter is set up, and you look at the the filter system that you have right now, I mean, you could see the difference. You know, you could see how you get more air. Now you still have the original port in the front and it's also got it's got a port on the fender side that you can leave open or you can plug it i left mine open and then it's got a got one on the engine side i left that plug in because i didn't want a bunch of engine shit getting in there so anyway that's what i got for you and and if you have any comments leave them below um if you got any more advice on I, and i'm not going to chip this motor there's no way i'm going to do that again I've got a lot of money into that 06 and and I know it's an 06 6 liter and you know I know a lot of guys are just going to roll their eyes when they hear that but it's uh it's it runs fine now like I said it's got 300,000 miles on it but a lot of dough put into it so if you if you're out looking to buy a 6 liter diesel you better have a pretty good sized pocketbook because that thing is going to drain you no matter what that's all I got. See you next time.